హలో ఫ్రెండ్స్ వెల్కమ్ టు సి షాప్ ఇంటర్మీడియట్ టు అడ్వాన్స్డ్ ట్యూటోరియల్ నౌ యు ఆర్ వాచింగ్ పార్ట్ త్రీ ఆఫ్ ది సబ్ సీరియస్ ఫ్లో లేఅవుట్ ప్యానల్ కంట్రోల్ వీ కెన్ కాల్ దిస్ యాజ్ అ కంటైనర్ సో ఫస్ట్ లెట్ అస్ సీ హౌ టు ప్లేస్ కంట్రోల్ ఇన్ ద ఫ్లో లేఅవుట్ ప్యానల్ కంటైనర్ దెన్ వీ విల్ గో టు ది ఫామ్ డిజైన్ ఆఫ్ దిస్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ uh that's all uh, we are going to see in this video so these are all the slides from the previous parts now let's go to the visual studio 2005 and uh, explore the flow layout panel so here we have a sample uh, windows form and flow layout panel container is available under the containers group in the toolbox so this is the flow layout panel so now i am dragging and dropping this to the form so to place the controls on the form you can simply drag and drop the controls so here i am placing the control buttons and if you see once i place the second control it shows bottom it is not showing it shows the flow direction now let me keep one more flare layout control and here i'm choosing the flow direction as top to down now let's go back and place the button here and if you see this time i'm not able to place control here but it comes down and you can see this arrow and that shows either i can place control before button 3 or after button 3 so now i will place the control after button 3 then now i will place it before button 3 you can also place the control in between also so you can see that here with the arrow mark similarly if i place the control i can place in between or i can place first or last now since this the top flow layout panel is set the direction left to right now for this control there is no room in the first row so the control automatically goes to the second row once it comes to second row then i can place at the end or at the beginning or even in between same goes for here so now you may got an idea of how flow layout control works let me add something here also and there is no room for this button it will go to the next column so this is what we explored in the part 1 uh, basics and now we are seeing that here visually here is the form design and if you see we placed some random control text boxes and here we set uh, some uh, background color then uh, some radio button and if you see all these controls are placed inside flow layout cc so it's a flow layout panel control first we placed a flow layout panel and you can see this is the size and after placing this flow layout panel we placed uh, some uh, six controls some uh, text boxes and uh, some uh, radio buttons so after placing this uh, flow layout panel 
control layout panel here we placed some control so then we set its dot property to top so you can select this uh, button so that the panel will be docked to the top of the form i mean the top edge of the form then we have a group box control inside that group box control we have flow direction and the radio button name is rad lr left to right that's one radio button we created and the text we kept it as left to right similarly this one is radio button tb that means top to bottom that's the name we gave then here we kept text as top to bottom remaining stuff you can choose as you like other properties then inside this control flow layout direction we have one more group box and inside that we have two uh, radio buttons the first one is rad green text and second one is rad brake radio so this is the flow brake radio so we just kept some name for uh, it so this one is uh, rad brake rad and the name here is uh, rad green text so these two radio button we will use to set a uh, uh, control brake so usually the controls will break when there is no room in the current row or current column but uh, here we will explore a function that will break even in between that we can do that programmatically by calling a specific function we will see that while we are implementing it then we have uh, two checkboxes this one is enable auto scroll checkbox so we haven't uh, renamed it uh, we have the name checkbox too and uh, name is uh, i mean the caption is enable auto scroll after that we have uh, one more checkbox we doesn't rename this also we the name is ch checkbox one and wrap controls is the name we gave for this uh, checkbox so that's all about this uh, form design nothing uh, special and so the names are important uh, when we look at the code we will uh, refer these names so just have a look at these names that's all here um, here we named it as rad wrap green text other stuff if you see we doesn't rename it why because we will sit here break here when you select this radio button we will break the control flow uh, at this after this control similarly when the user uh, presses a check mark on break flow by first radio we will break the uh, flow after this radio button so that's why we named these two controls but you can have your own uh, control name but when we are coding it you have to remember those names so that's why we are suggesting if you are following this example through this video have the same name set so that's all here in this video Thank you for watching. Bye.